There are many different techniques of how to hydrodissect and how to approach the nucleus for nuclear disassembly. I am using a flattened tip cannula here and hydroprolapsing the nucleus out of the capsular bag in order for me to access it. As you can see here, I am putting an OVD behind it so it will stand up and I, in order for me to access it. But as I am trying to flip it over and tiddly wink it towards me, the nucleus falls back into the uh, capsular bag. No worries, just go in, repeat the procedure with your flattened tip hydro um, dissecting cannula and the nucleus will prop right back up. I'm going in through the side port, adding more OVD behind the nucleus which is now sitting on its equator and using a flattened tip Koch manipulator which has no sharp ends I flip the entire nucleus forward towards me. Then I go in with my FACO handpiece and start sculpting right over where I had made a groove during the flipping forward process. This is very fast and in a few strokes you can then break the nucleus into two hemi-nuclei. Then very easily go into your quadrant mode and remove all of the quadrants very quickly. Actually it's only in two hemi-nuclei so you can very easily in quadrant mode remove the cataract. Sometimes you end up with an epinucleus and using the epinuclear setting in your FACO machine, like in this case, I go in and remove that epinuclear membrane, staying away from the posterior capsule.